Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear, and I'm here in our store in Smyrna, Georgia. This is the extended review of the Olight SR52 flashlight. All right, here is the Olight SR52 Intimidator. Pretty cool upgrade to the SR51. They did a great job on this light, just like Olight does with pretty much all their lights. This and the SR Mini have become a couple of my favorite lights. So, some good information there on the front. Max output of 1200 lumens. On the low output, you're going to get 40 hours of runtime. Throw 580 meters, which is pretty great for a light this size. Powered by three 18650s or six CR123s. And as always, you can get the full specs on our site, goinggear.com. So, let's open it up, show you what you get on the inside. We'll talk about the light and the interface and all that. Pull out the box full of accessories. Pull out the light. All right, set the light to the side for right now. Let's talk about the other stuff that you get. So in the box here, user manual warranty information. User manual, definitely worth a read. Talks about the specs of the light, talks about the interface. Uh, some good information in here, always worth a read. These, uh, you know, high power lights can get kind of complicated sometimes. Although Olight has really good interfaces, so it's not that bad, but it's still worth taking a look. Some information about some of their other products. And then you have all the accessories. Open that up, show you what you get. So when you're using 18650s with the SR52, it's a rechargeable light. It's USB rechargeable. You actually have this charging port right here where you can uh, plug a micro USB cord in there. So it's kind of nice because in the past, Olight has used a lot of uh, proprietary cords. So if you lose the cord, you can't find it, you can't charge your light and that's no good. But most of us have 50 of these little cords lying around. It's just a standard micro USB cord. Of course, they include one. So uh, if you lose the cord, you can still charge your light. They have a wall adapter. So you can plug it into your laptop or if you have a USB port in your car or anything like that. Uh, otherwise, you can plug it into the wall adapter. A couple spare O-rings, lanyard, and then the holster. Olight makes nice holsters, so we'll stick the light in there, show you what it looks like. Put the flap over the top, protects the light really well, makes it easy to carry and hold and everything. There's a, a good attachment point there, plastic D-ring. You can use to attach it to a carabiner or whatever. So let's talk about the light starting from the back of it. A couple lanyard attachment points if you want to use the lanyard. That nice square knurling that Olight uses. Looks good, feels really good in the hand. No hot spots or anything like that. I like the square knurling. There again is your little uh, micro USB charging port. You can see you have a little door that slides back and forth. So you don't have to worry about losing any plugs or screwing anything around or anything like that. You just slide the door over, plug it in slide it back when you're done, and then you have a little LED indicator to help you know uh, when it's charging and when it's done charging. There's the switch that controls the interface, some nice fins to help dissipate heat really well. There's the head of the light, Cree XML2 LED down in there, big smooth reflector, so that's how you get that really nice beam distance to the 580 meters. You can see how big the reflector is. It's a large portion of the light, <laughs> so a lot of this light is the reflector. Makes a nice tight concentrated beam if you like distance. So the light is powered by three 18650s or six CR123s. We always recommend that people use 18650s, especially if they're going to be using the light a lot. It costs you a little bit more up front, but uh, it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run because CR123s can be kind of pricey even if you get the high quality ones at a decent price. You know, if you're going to be having to swap those out a lot, you can just buy the rechargeable batteries, pay for them once. They last a really, really long time, you know, hundreds of charges. And uh, if you get them and you get the light from us in a bundle, it'll save you a little bit of money. The 18650s that we recommend, Olight 3400 milliamp hour 18650s, really high quality. And uh, compared to comparable batteries from other manufacturers, they're a little bit cheaper. They come with a nice little battery case, nice little bonus that they come with. So they're really good batteries. So that's what I have in there right now. We're gonna put the tail cap back on there. Go ahead and uh, screw it back on there. You know, the only time we recommend that people use CR123s is if they're going to be uh, storing the light. So basically, you leave it in your truck or you have it for emergencies. CR123s have a fantastic shelf life. So about 10 years on the high quality ones where you need to top off 18650s every six months or so. Um, you know, if you're going to be storing the light, CR123s are the way to go. But most people don't do that, so we always recommend the 18650s. So the interface, completely controlled by the side switch. Just tap it to turn the light on, press and hold, it'll cycle through your different outputs. There is a mode memory for the outputs, so if you let go, it'll be in the one that you want. Tap it to turn it off, tap it again, it'll be back in that same output. There's strobe as well, so from on or off, double click quickly, and it'll go into uh, strobe. And there's not a memory for that, so if you turn it off, 
and then just tap it to turn it back on. There won't be strobe, but from off, you can just do the double click to get into the uh, to get into the strobe. So again, real quick on the interface, tap that side switch to turn the light on. Press and hold will cycle through your different outputs. Double click from stro for strobe, and that's it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the SR52 outside, and we'll show you how it does outside. All right, we're outside with the Olight SR52. Got the big 40 mag light that I always use as bass lines. It's pretty much everybody knows what that guy can do. As so you can see, the SR52 has some glow powder in the O-ring. Kind of a cool little feature that it has. Let's go ahead and try out that mag light first. So there's a little tree about 25 feet away. Dock house down there on the lake is about 100 feet away. So that's a mag light. Let's go ahead and try out the SR52. So there is the dock house. You see my dog wandering around down there. Uh, 100 feet away, you can see how well everything is lit up down there. Let's kind of zoom in just so you can see how well it does at just 100 feet. Obviously, it'll go much further than this. Pretty cool beam on this. So uh, if you're looking for that nice, tight, concentrated beam, you can see how tight that hot spot is. Very focused on this. If you're looking for more area illumination, check out the uh, SR Mini from Olight. It's a great, really floody beam. This one's definitely more for distance. But you can see the spill up here, still very usable. So you got that wide, very usable spill. Um, kind of go through the different levels, see what those look like. But yeah, the spill is nice on that. You can see it actually makes it out to the dock house by itself. Not too bad. Just like through those different levels. Even on the lowest one, that 100 lumens, it's making out to the dock house 100 feet away. Not any problem lighting up everything out there relatively well, not nearly as well as the 1200 lumens, but still usable. Shine it around a little bit. Okay, let's try this out at a longer distance to see what it does. What you doing down there, Argo? Looks like he's up to no good. All right, got some more space to show you what the Olight SR52 can do when you have a longer range. Let's go ahead and try it out. Boat right there is about 20 feet away. Got a couple targets set up out there at longer distances. First one is 50 yards. Second one is 100 yards. Tree line out there is 130 yards. Makes it out to all three of those, no issues at all. And this light can do much, much further than that. This thing can do hundreds of yards. Really impressive distance on this. And uh, obviously you have that tightly, you know, focused hot spot. You got very concentrated hot spot, but you can see at a longer distance how well the spill does by itself. So the spill gets out there to a decent distance by itself. Very usable beam for sure. So you got the nice combination of the distance and lighting up a lot of the stuff that's going on in front of you. And I've shown this in other videos, but uh, people talk about the difference between lights like this that have the reflector on them versus the ones where you can adjust the focus. And the idea of adjusting the focus, I think is pretty cool. You know, I can see the utility of it, but you get either or. So you either get the wide area lighting or you get the distance, you don't get both at once. So that's why you see a lot more companies doing the reflectors like this, because you can get that extreme distance like you get with this one, and you can get the wide area lighting at the same time. I've shown in some other videos where I did, you know, just the focused um, with one of the lights you can focus. I was using a mag light and uh, I was pointing it at something and my dog was kind of over here in the beam and you couldn't see him. But then when you use a light like this, you get the combination of both, you can just see more at once. So I see the benefits of both. I personally like reflector lights a lot better uh, for kind of the reasons that I talked about. That was a little long-winded, <laughs> but I hear a lot of people asking me that question. So I thought I'd explain that real quick or not so quick. All right, let me show you what the other outputs look like, just so you can see how they are. Kind of just cycle through the three. You can see even on that low output, I mean, it's making out to the 50 yards, no problem. It's actually making out to the lighter parts of the 100 yards. And that's at the lowest output of uh, not a whole lot of lumens, especially compared to the max output on this thing. Let me shine it around a little bit. All right, that is the Olight SR52. Olight is definitely one of my favorite companies. I've been working with them for a while. I like them a lot. They make a really solid product that they stand behind. Their lights just keep on getting better and better. They brought some really cool designers on board and uh, the light, the look of their lights, they just look cool. They work really well. They're reliable, they're rugged. Great, great product. And uh, the SR52 is definitely no exception. Great output on it, fantastic throw. Feels good in the hand. You got that rechargeable feature, which is definitely a cool feature and uh, just all around a solid light. 
So if you want an SR52, you can buy them from us at goinggear.com. Any questions or comments, you can reach me in the comments or any of my guys at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, please subscribe. I do a lot of gear and flashlight videos. And that's it. Thanks for watching.